Okay, so for your sketchbook covers, you will have to first draw your name in the middle of the page, nice and big so you can read it. I'm gonna write Jade. And then you can choose a different color and write your last name if you want to. Then you have to draw a square around your name like this. So we have a square and our name inside of it. Now you're going to look at the PowerPoint titled This or That, and we are going to begin our game. But before we start, I'm gonna show you how to make your lines. So if in the game, you it says, would you rather be a scientist or an artist? If you would rather be a scientist, you can draw a straight green line. So when you're drawing your lines, make sure to start at the box and end at the edge of the paper. And you can make your line thicker by tracing it over again or by drawing another line below it and then coloring it in like that. The next question on the slideshow is, would you rather play at the park or play video games? So I'm gonna show you how I would draw um, playing video games. So again, I'm going to start at my square. I can start here or here or here, anywhere you want. I'm gonna do it here. And you're gonna start at your square and make a loopy line like that to the edge of your paper. And then you can continue. So would you rather sing or dance? I would rather dance. So I'm gonna draw a purple castle line like that to the edge of my paper. The next question is, would you rather play chess or play soccer? I would rather play chess, so I'm gonna draw a zigzag line. I'm gonna start at my square and make a fun zigzag to the edge of my paper. So we are practicing drawing all these different kinds of lines. And I'm just going over my line again to make it thicker. And then by the end of the game, you will have lots and lots of fun lines. Maybe you wanna be a superhero, so you draw a red line. Or you like to ride a bike and you wanna draw a squiggly line. If you want summer forever or winter forever, you can draw a dotted line. Whatever the game says, you can draw that line. And by the end, you will have lots and lots of lines. All right, so then when you finish drawing your lines, you can take another color and color in between each line if you want to. And you can color all of this in so that there's no more white space showing. And then if you want, you can color this in a different color. and so on. Make sure to use good craftsmanship and color in neatly. When you're done, or even if you're not done coloring yet, that's okay. Just um, go into Seesaw, click on the assignment, and then click Add Response, and then it'll show you a picture of a camera. Click on the picture of the camera and then take a nice photo of your name drawing for your sketchbook cover and submit it. There is also a video in your inbox on how to upload and take a photo on Seesaw. So check out that video in your inbox if you need help. All right, get coloring.